Hello, I show you now how to change the pulsing speed of the power pulsar. First, I switch it on. Now it shows the selected pole. When I want to increase the pulsing speed, I have to press this button for a longer time. I show you now what happens when I press it shortly. It changes the magnetic pole selection when I press it shortly. Now I press it longer and you hear a different acoustic sound. And the LED is not changing here at this place but on this place and the other places. For example, I again press shortly and it changes the magnetic pole selection. Now I press it again longer and you see here it displays two LEDs. This was displayed number three and one and this means I have selected fix storage number four because 3 and 1 is 4. I change the frequency now further. I increase the frequency with this button longer pressing. 5. A double blink per second means I have chosen storage number 6. I go further up. 7. 8. 9, 10. 10 means storage number 10. In the, in the manual at page 6 we have a table where the storage number is corresponding with the chosen pulsing speed. For example, storage number 8 means 10 pulses per second. Now I decrease the pulsing speed by pressing the Hertz down button for a longer time. I'm again now at storage number 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, okay. I let it at storage number 4. Now I start pulsing and you will see the difference in the speed. Okay, I have selected number 4, storage number 4, and you see it works with, with 4 pulses per second. I can increase again the pulsing speed by pressing this button for a longer time. When I press it shortly, I only change the magnetic pole. North pole, south pole, both poles alternating. But I want to change the frequency, so I press it longer. Ah, I'm now at storage number 5. And you see, the pulsing speed has increased. Again, storage number 6. And it has increased further. And so I can go on, increase the storage number. I'm now at storage number 8. And I have 10 pulses per second. This was how to change the pulsing speed. I thank you for watching. I stopped the parapulsor and now I switch it off.